Hey everybody, it is Tiffany with Rock Bottom Wellness and this is day 15 of the 21 day back to basics health challenge. So a lot of people are asking me about what do you do or what supplements do you take to fend off cold and flu season? As you know, it's just right around the corner. Um, so what I wanted to come on today and talk about is what you can do to help you avoid getting sick, of course, that's the first thing. Um, and then if you do start to feel a little something happening, what you can do to help combat that or what you can do when you're actually sick. Um, so first things first, of course, nutrition is at the top of my list of things you need to focus on. So ways to make sure that you keep yourself healthy through cold and flu season. Um, one thing I would recommend is if you're not taking a good quality vitamin D, you could probably start that, especially if you are someone who deals with seasonal affective disorder or deals with a little bit of the depression during the winter months. I would highly recommend you start taking a good D. Um, if you do have any issues with gut health or have a thyroid condition, there's one in particular that I recommend, and it's for people who have digestive issues. It's called Emulsy D3, and something you can get on my store. So if anybody's interested, um, just let me know and I can tell you exactly which one it is. Uh, I'll post in the comments in this video as well. Um, so that is something that I highly recommend also. And then it's really important to make sure you have optimal nutrient intake with your foods. And if you are you know, really busy or stressed or something's, um, you've got a lot going on, it's, a, it's always a good idea. You know, at the minimum, take a really good quality multivitamins. So I have many that I recommend to people for different reasons. And if you're at different stages of your life, if you're male or female, you might need to change it up a little bit. Um, but please, please, please do not go to the grocery store or the drugstore and buy some of the, you know, big named ones that you see advertised on commercials and that kind of thing. They're not going to be um, as absorbable. They're not going to be the right forms that your body knows to do with. And they're not going to be really good at supporting, you know, your body and immune system. So um, go to a professional that knows how to understand, that knows and understands supplements and who could recommend what's best for you. Or again, ask me if you have any questions on that. Um, so another supplement that I use quite often actually because of my, um, I'm prone to having respiratory infections. And so one of the supplements that I like to use regularly is called NAC. Um, this is the one I'm using Right now, I don't know if you can really see that. Um, so it is an amino acid that is used to help support the liver and it also is really good at clearing and opening up the airways, which is something I struggle with a lot. And so if I feel any of that stuff happening, um, then I start taking that right away. And in the winter months, I like to take it a little more regularly once a day or something like that, just to keep my liver functioning well and um, you know, helping open up the airways. The other thing, um, going back to the nutrition piece of that, so obviously you're gonna be eating, you know, I'm gonna recommend you're gonna be eating really clean like I do anytime, but that's only gonna set you up really, you know, to be healthy for these winter months. But also, um, if you are making things like bone broth um, and adding that to your foods that you're eating or making soups with them, especially it seems like we all like to hunker down and have soups and kind of that comfort food during this winter months, using really good quality bone broth, um, usually you have to make it. You can't really just buy bone broth from the store and have the same benefits from it. So just know that. Um, but that helps to make sure your gut is healthy, you're absorbing nutrients well, and it's just good for the immune system too. So that's something to add to your regimen. Um, and I, I talk about bone broth a lot. Um, the other thing is you can be um, adding apple cider vinegar. Uh, with the mother it's called is the better one to have for uh, making teas and that type of thing so you could add them to any teas that you make um, one of the other things I like to do whenever I feel something's happening um, like getting a little scratchy throat and that type of thing is this tea called throat coat and it's by traditional medicinals and they have many versions of this. They have many versions of these teas and I see them pretty much everywhere. You don't have to go to a special store or anything, but you could add the apple cider vinegar into that as well. Um, so 
echinacea is another thing if you can get good quality echinacea and if you are feeling like the sore throat the you know the ears and that type of thing happening you know you can start drinking that throat coat with the apple cider vinegar or without you can use it you know either way whatever is convenient and then the echinacea and if you're really trying to combat something you can take that um you know every couple hours to get get rid of whatever is kind of brewing in your system the other thing, the two things that I use regularly, um, like I said, I have a lot of respiratory things, I have a lot of sinus things, and so this is something I use quite often, and I like to use roller balls because it's convenient, but um, I have Melaleuca in a roller ball and something called On Guard in a roller ball. Um, so they're all diluted and ready to go, easy application. So I will um, put this, if I have a sore throat or achy ears or anything like that, I'll literally just put it right on my throat area where it's sore. Um, and then Melaleuca, if you kind of start feeling stuff in your ears, um, I'll put that around um, the ear, not in the ear, of course, but around it. And that really helps with, um, you know, getting rid of that acute situation. That's what's worked for me. I mean, you have to do it constantly you can't just do it once a day and think it's think it's going to take care of it but i feel like now this fall i've been doing that regularly and i feel like it's kept me from getting and going down the slippery slope that i usually go down every fall with respiratory allergies and then turning into other bigger and worse things so um that is kind of the things i recommend to have as an arsenal against the cold and flu season um but setting yourself up with Good quality foods is always going to be, you know, it's not going to be the end all be all and keep you from getting sick, but it will absolutely help you um, either not get as sick or help you recover more quickly. If you are going through the drive through eating fake foods and or not eating very much at all, you're going to have a lot longer sickness or it's going to be a lot more severe. So um, take care of yourself with that baseline nutrition. Add in these things that seem to work for you. I've kind of figured out what works for me. Um, but like I said, a multivitamin, um, and NAC, which is an amino acid, um, good vitamin D, some oils that you know that help with those things. Like I said, those are the two that work the best for me. Like, and I can tell, I can tell pretty immediately. And then the throat coat tea with the apple cider vinegar or without. So, and then get yourself some bone broth, make that up, store it in the freezer, put it in jars. Um, you know, have some at, at the ready pretty much anytime you need to, um, you know, make a soup or make a meal or just have a, a cup of broth. So um, anyway, that's all for today. Hope you are doing well and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.